good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today I have a couple things I want to say before we get into it so uh, I also want to go ahead and thank you guys a lot for the support lately I know we're kind of in the downtime of 2k right now it's just there's just not a whole lot of news the NBA season's very very close I feel like my content has been you know all right it's just there's not a whole lot to talk about so it's kind of hard just doing some other kind of rebuild ideas so I'm just kind of trying to get all the teams I haven't done out of the way and because uh, you know speaking of that and I went through the teams I haven't done because I go through that every day I'm like okay what teams haven't I done already what team will I do next and I realized I haven't even done the Lakers yet I'm seriously sitting there asking myself how did I pass the Los Angeles Lakers like out of the 20 rebuild videos I've done so far in 2k20 I have not done one Los Angeles Lakers rebuild how does that even happen so yeah, we're doing that today. Now, obviously, this is going to be super easy. It's just not a whole lot to be done for this team, unfortunately. This team is already kind of set to where it needs to be, and obviously, Cousins is going to be hurt for the year. I will go ahead and give him his injury because, you know, I, I don't think there's any point of having him healthy since the Lakers did sign Dwight Howard to replace him. So, you know, if you guys didn't know how to put an injury on a player, this is how you do it. So, uh, you know, a little tutorial here. I don't know, he tore his Achilles, right? Isn't that what he did? I mean, I feel bad for the man, but uh, we're going to go torn left Achilles, and then uh, I'm going to put him out for a while just because he's going to be out for a while. So there we go. And now he should be out for like the whole season and then beyond that. So yeah, all right, that's cool. But now when we look at the rotation all together, they have Rondo, Danny Green, LeBron, Kuzma, AD. But I think what they would rather do is have uh actually no i like this better because when demarcus cousin was a healthy i could see the reasoning for anthony davis starting but now that anthony or not anthony davis starting demarcus cousin starting with anthony davis and kuzma at the three but now that lebron now that uh what's his name is healthy i could see the argument having rondo in there but i also could see like maybe putting like quinn cook a guy that could actually shoot or even alex caruso i mean just like throw caruso in there does he have uh, he does have another year on his contract. So if I can, I'm going to send uh, go, go Caruso to the G League. So that way he could be really good next year. And then we'll go with that. So yeah, that's basically all we're going to do. Is there anybody else I could maybe send to the G League? Troy Daniels is only on a one-year deal. Quinn Cook's on a two-year. Maybe he'll be good after the season, be on the bench next year. But uh, I'm not going to mess with anything. I would, I know I would easily put LeBron at uh, point guard right now. But considering, like I said, Demarcus Cousins is hurt. I just don't think Dwight Howard will start. He might. I don't think he will, but you never know. And then other than that, guys, I'm going to simulate this first season, and we'll go from there. I have no idea what my goal is today, honestly, because obviously this team is already kind of in a championship mode. So maybe just to get a, you know, retool the positions a little bit, and we'll go from there. Season, if it wasn't any surprise, LeBron James is your MVP, obviously. John Morant, your rookie of the year. Yu Lo is your sixth man, and Kawhi is your defensive player of the year. And Rozier is your most improved. So yeah, those wards, you know, basically the same every year. But we are the first seed in the Western Conference. Not really, wasn't really doubting that to happen. But for player stats, we had 29.9 from LeBron, 26 from Anthony Davis, and 15 from Kyle Kuzma. So I think the way I want to do this is I want to kind of reset this to where when the Lakers literally only had three players on the roster, it was like lebron ad and kuzma and that was it that was like all they had and they had like 30 million dollars in cap space i think that's what i want to do and looks like kuzma does have a uh player a team option next year so i want to go ahead and try to sign somebody else with this team that's what my plan is this offseason i didn't know what i was going to do at first but that's what i think i'm going to do i think i'm going to go ahead and like reset to where that point where they only had three players on their roster and then they were chasing Kawhi leonard at the time wouldn't it be funny if I got Kawhi Leonard? That would be hilarious. But uh, we are up 1-0 on the Golden State Warriors. Uh, but I definitely can't afford Kawhi. They want like $40 million. Wow, we might lose to the Warriors. 3-2. And we lost in six. LeBron's arch nemesis comes and beats them once again. That's just the way it is. The Golden State Warriors are still unstoppable. So 2-0, 3-0. And the Brooklyn Nets have... Uh, yeah, the Nets have won the championship. Kyrie Irving once again... Oh, wow. 46, 8, and 7, 38, 6, and 6 from Mr. LeBron, or Le, not LeBron, Kevin Durant and uh, Kyrie Irving. Now let's get into this offseason. Let's not waste any time. I was definitely expecting a championship in the first season, but it just did not happen. But like I said, I'm going to be freeing up as much money as I possibly can. And I might just give out some one-year deals because this free agency is not great. 
Frank Vogel, still the coach of the year. That's fine. Uh, or still coach. That's fine. And our, uh, you know, Jason Kidd actually has some decent ratings as well. So I will not be getting rid of him. And honestly, Jason Kidd is a genius, as you guys know. You guys remember that video of him? Oh, uh, Caruso is going to be good for us next year, too. I won't be training Caruso either. So let's go ahead and attach this uh, pick with Danny Green and see what it could get me. I'm hoping for something cheap. Trey Lyles, Edwards, and a first round pick in return. I think I might do this. We're going to get Carson Edwards, who's a nice young player. We can move Caruso or Edwards to backup shooting guard, depending on what I want to do. And we're going to go to rookie signing. The reason why I did that, because I didn't want to pay for a rookie too much. Uh, player options, AD, Kuzma, and everyone else declines, it seems. And then qualifying offers, Kostas Antetokounmpo. As much as you are an Antetokounmpo, and I would love to have you, I'm going to be freeing up as much money as I possibly can. So negative, $16.52 million. Obvi Whoa, Anthony Davis is a free agent. I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot that was a thing. So that is something we are definitely going to be addressing. So let me get that out of the way first. Do I do that first? Because there's no way I can let my man walk, right? I'm going to give him as much money as I possibly can. Like, there's no way Anthony Davis is walking away from me. So yeah, we got Anthony Davis on lock, which is good. So now I'm going to trade everybody that I can. So KCP, uh, you're going to be out. Of Ooh, Josh Richardson wouldn't be a bad addition, honestly, to the team. But is he on a one-year deal? You know what? He is a player option. I'm going to get Josh Richardson. I think he'd be uh, kind of nice. So we're going to get Josh Richardson at the starting small forward spot. And LeBron will move to point guard now. We got we can get KCP right in return. Uh, let's see what else we could get out here. Fernando, Exum, Deadman, DeLon Wright, Josh Hart. Bring Josh Hart back, uh, back here. Norman Powell, Dwight Powell. I really just want to get rid of Avery Bradley's contract, if I'm honest with you. And they're not going to do that. Okay. Is there anyone that could just take his contract? Like, I would literally take uh, a turkey sandwich for him. Okay, take him. All right, now we got rid of Avery Bradley. Cool. So, and then I also wanted to get rid of Quinn Cook probably as well. So, KCP, Gary Trent Jr., um, Chez Metu. We have to trade a first. Storm Powell, Bruce Brown. Just take him for like a second. He, he needs yours. All right, cool. So, we got Quinn Cook out of here. And so, Anthony Edwards and Alex, or should I let Alex Caruso start? I just let this man start? That'd be funny. Actually, you know, he he, he probably wouldn't be a terrible starter. But does he go up a shooting guard? He does. So I think he will play shooting guard, obviously. And, you know, he could start the shooting guard if we wanted him to. And LeBron's going to move to point guard. And Josh Richardson's going to start there. Obviously, we're going to get Anthony Davis back. So let's go ahead and make sure that happens. Let's secure that bag for Anthony Davis. And DeRozan is in free agency. Obviously, his fit here would be very bad if you ask me. But uh, we still have $15.88 million. Once Josh Richardson is gone and everyone else, is Kuzma will be owed a contract is the only crappy part. I'm almost half tempted, as unpopular as it would be, I'm almost half tempted to see what I could get for Kuzma before he becomes a free agent. Half tempted to do it. So just to be creative, because I don't want to you know, make this video so stale that I barely do anything, right? So let me see what it might be. I mean, that Ben Simmons trade was definitely decent or different, but the fit is just questionable to me. John Collins, you know, could replace, but I mean, how better does that make us really? I don't think very, I don't think it changes much of anything. Could get Zach Levine, Eric Bledsoe, and Ben Simmons. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any of these trades. I definitely think I'm just going to keep Kuzma and eat his money after the season. And, uh, you know, by eat, I mean, I'm going to have to pay him. So shooting guard. Uh, let's see what shooting guards are out here. Let's get like a one-year deal kind of guy. Let's get Ronnie Hood, I think. Let's get some other Ronnie, you know. Ooh, Iguodal, let's get him here if we can. Uh, Nikola Miritich at the power forward wouldn't be bad either. And then as far as uh, backup centers are concerned, see we can get, uh, could we get anybody back? No. Um, centers, we'd have no bird rights on anybody. So let's see. Let's just see if we can get one of those guys. Uh, Nikola Meritich accepts another offer. I really want Iguodala and Ronnie Hood. That'd be great. So yeah, we're going to get Iguodala and Ronnie Hood. That's going to be a nice backup shooting guard. And then we're going to have Iguodala and Josh Richardson at the small forward spot. Kuzma, AD. So we basically need another big man. And I think we should be good this offseason. Uh, Cantor, could we give him a one-year deal? We cannot. Obviously, giving Ronnie Hood and Iguodala gave us all of our, or gave our money away. So um, power forwards. Let's see. Power forwards. We get Jermichael... Oh, we can't afford him. Never mind. Uh, Terrence. Wow. Is that all we can? 
Okay, Ekebe Udo it is. So welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers. I'll be moving LeBron James to point guard. And I think other than that, guys, you know, I don't think we made us... I don't think we did much of anything this offseason. Of course, like, we literally didn't get much better. But next offseason is when free agency is really freaking good. So that's what I was kind of worried about. But to get Josh Richardson, which I think is somewhat of an underrated pickup. But, uh, I mean, there's still room to improve. So... I'm going to go ahead and send to the end of the second season, and then once, once we get into the third or second offseason, that's when things should get lit. Now, instead of LeBron James winning MVP, Anthony Davis has won MVP. Mm, that's awesome. LaMelo Ball is your rookie of the year. Dwight Howard is your sixth man of the year on the Raptors. Defensive player is Anthony Davis. And then, like, it just dawned on me. Whenever I just saw Anthony Davis as MVP, I'm starting to wonder if I have done a Lakers rebuild because this just seems to, like... You ever get that deja vu feeling like because where LeBron and Anthony Davis kept winning MVP Maybe I'm maybe I'm going crazy, but I can't remember if I've done a Lakers rebuild or not when I checked the playlist I didn't see it in there. Maybe I never put it in there, but nonetheless uh, Whatever we're, we've done a Lakers rebuild and not, that's what we're gonna be doing So Anthony Davis 32 points LeBron James 28 points and 18 from Kyle Kuzma So Kuzma is wanting to earn that contract Let's simulate playoffs and see if we can beat the Utah Jazz in the first round if I don't win a championship with the Lakers at all in this video, consider me the worst my league YouTuber ever. Just do it, okay? I don't even I don't even want an argument. Just leave it down in the comment section below if I do not win a championship. Worst 2K rebuilder ever. Some of you already think that, so. And we're about to lose in the second round again, guys. 3-2, three, 3-3. Three, three. Can we win at 7? We cannot. Okay. So I'm going to have to steal Paul George from you guys. That's just how it's going to have to be. Sorry, I'm gonna have to give Paul George this fat contract this offseason and I'm gonna have to lose Kuzma in the process And that's gonna suck, but the Bucks have won the championship over the Golden State Warriors So let's get into the second offseason of the year and see if we can you know improve from here Obviously things have not gone as planned. They really have not if I'm honest with you, but we don't uh, Do we have a pick? I don't know if we do or not uh, the Pelicans have it this year. Okay, that makes sense uh, what's his name? Jacob Underwood. I guess I'll just sign you now that Frank Vogel has just left me. Uh, oh, wait, there he was. Oh, well, I got, what's his name now? So Otis Newman, I'm gonna go to you and sign you. How dare you reject my offer? Jeez. All right, let's go to the draft now. Actually, we probably don't even need to go here because we don't have a pick. So, uh, we might've had a second round pick, but I didn't notice. Uh, we're not going to sign you. Sorry. And then LeBron James and Josh Richardson declines. Uh, I literally don't know, don't know how much money we're going to have, but Kuzma is definitely uh, going to have to be a player we consider resigning. But if I can get a, you know, something better out there, Kuzma's cap hold is not that expensive. Uh, Iguodala, I'm going to be renouncing you. Rodney Hood, I'm going to be renouncing you. I'm renouncing all of these guys. So we're going to give us some money. Caruso, I almost, I almost don't want to renounce Caruso just yet. I won't do it yet. We'll see. So Edwards and uh, this guy, I could have swore I, I didn't sign you, but you're showing up for whatever reason. So Edwards, um, I mean, giving me a million. Okay, I don't know how much. Okay, I don't think I need to trade Carson Edwards. I just don't think it's necessary. So uh, basically, at this point, we have three players on the roster. LeBron, AD, and Carson Edwards. How much money can we, real can we realistically offer Kawhi Leonard contract? Maybe. If I renounced... If I renounced... If I renounced, what's his name? And like, he wouldn't take that. Okay, so if I renounce Kuzma and what's his name? Could I literally offer him a contract? I don't want to renounce. I'm definitely not renouncing Kuzma at first, but I will be willing to renounce Caruso. And uh, that, okay, that didn't take it down at all. So I won't be renouncing Kuzma. $10 million less. Uh, I'm just gonna go down the list till it says I can offer somebody a contract. What if I... I give you no trade clause. No, okay. Can't get Paul George either. Finally, so we can't afford anybody that's wanting $40 million. I could probably afford Donovan Mitchell. Obviously, Donovan Mitchell would be amazing, but probably not going to get him. Go Bear. We already have Anthony Davis, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, Darren Fox, Oladipo, Drummond, uh, Bradley Beal. There's some been some ramblings about Brad. I've used all of my offers. Oh, no. Dude. I don't think I, I can't do it. I don't think I would be able to get done. I bet he would get matched. Okay, yeah, they decided to match. So I'm glad I didn't renounce Kuzma risking it all for him. So 
uh let's go to is bradley beal still out here he is dude let me get bradley beal like tell me i can get beal tell me i can get beal don't do this dude do i really have to renounce kuzma to get bradley beal that's so annoying all right whatever all right so let's keep going hopefully beal doesn't isn't gone yet he does have a bunch of other offers from he, why would he go to the blazers of all places let me oh man i want bradley beal real deal bradley beal would be amazing here but i don't think i can get him without oh no did i just renounce kuzma because i literally didn't mean to i meant to I'm so stupid, guys. I'm so stupid. We lost Kyle Kuzma. Why? I have bird rats on Caruso, though. That's so annoying. Okay. Whatever. We lost Kuzma, I guess. All right, LeBron. All right, so we basically don't have any forwards. So we're going to go to the forward section now. We could bring back Josh, Rich, Josh Richardson, and he has no offers so far. Uh, as far as power forwards are literally our best op. Uh, PJ Tucker. Let's get PJ... Can I get PJ Tucker for one year? That's like literally my best offer right now. Or my best. Alright, if you're going to just waste my time, I don't want to lose. Okay, I'm not going to lose the risk of losing Josh Richardson as well. So, uh, we're going to offer PJ Tucker a contract. Okay, that's cool. And now Kuzma has a bunch of other offers and I can't get them. So, that sucks. Oh, well, I guess we did get Bradley Beal. So, hopefully that's alright. But we can we get Josh Richardson back? We do. Okay. Uh, somehow, some way, I've just, you know, I don't know if I've made him worse, but I'm not sure if I've liked the idea of losing Kuzma. I really don't know. I definitely should have, you know, like I thought, got, I could bring back Caruso as well. So I think I might be doing that. Iguodala, I could be entertained the idea of that. So I think I will offer Iguodala a contract. And Caruso has yet to get an offer so far. So let's see if I can get Iguodala real quick. Sneak Iguodala. Nope. And hopefully Caruso is still there. He, he all right. He has some offers now, so I definitely need to offer him a contract. Give him a two-year deal. Uh, and okay, we didn't lose Caruso yet. That's good to know. All right, now let's see if Alex Caruso will take my deal. I'll even offer a little bit more money. How about that? We'll give you twenty-eight million instead, because I don't want to lose the goat Caruso in free agency. I've already lost Kuzma. I can't lose you two. So Alex Caruso, that's good. Uh, LeBron, Carson Edwards, Bradley Beal, Caruso. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so we basically need one more big man uh i don't know who that could be hekabe udo was our big man last year and it almost looks like he's gonna be our big man again i might get muscala why not so we're gonna get mike muscala so yeah um this offseason has definitely been interesting we lost kuzma and replaced him with bradley beal i don't know how i really feel about that i was hoping to get them both but it just i guess it just couldn't happen that way so it is what it is Iguodala and PJ Tucker go down our overall so that sucks as well but I'm gonna go ahead and simulate one more final season and let's see if this team can finally finally win a championship once again Anthony Davis is your most valuable player no surprise there once again Evan Mobley is your rookie of the year uh Colin Sexton is your sixth man and we got Anthony Davis also in defensive player so and Jacob Underwood won coach of the year as well so that is awesome but we are the first seed in the West. Can we finally, finally put it together and win this championship? Bradley Beal averaged 20 points. LeBron James, 27. And Anthony Davis, 36 points. That is insane. Very good season from my guy, Anthony Davis. Now, can this be the season we put it together? It better be. Like, it better be 2K. Because I already promised that you guys could call me the worst rebuilder on the planet if I don't win one with the Lakers. Because that is just sad. But we're up 3-1 on the Suns. 3-2. 3-2. Don't, don't do this to me, 2K. I was about to say, do not let me blow a 3-0, whatever it was. 3-1 lead. We're up 2-1 on the Grizzlies. Can we at least make it to the conference finals in the video? Like, can we at least do that? Okay. We're up 1-0 on the Jazz. 2-1, uh, 3-1. Please, nope. 3-2, two, 1-6. Two, okay, we're in the finals. Awesome. Now we're facing the Chicago Bulls, who are the third seed in the East. All right. Now let's see what they're looking like. So, what, yes, we did lose Kuzma. We did replace him with Bradley Beal. Uh, they have Giannis and Zach Levine and De'Aaron Fox and Anthony Edwards. Wow, this team is actually pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I would not be shocked if we lost. We're up 1-0, though. Uh, we're up 2-1, 3-1. And can we win? Can we win, please? We win at 6. All right. I'll take it. Thank you so much, 2K, because I really didn't want to be called the worst rebuilder on the planet, if I'm honest with you. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. This is Crushables, and I'm saying...